All right. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So now we're going to chapter three. Ben Midbar in the desert, in the wilderness. You call it numbers? And it's called numbers because it was here that the numbering was done. Mm -hmm. Now, numbering was done even before they went into Egypt. Yes. So they went into Egypt, 70 people. Mm -hmm. And after 122 some odd years in Egypt, they came out and you see we have like 600,000 men. We're not counting women and children. So, or and when I say children, it's just under the age of 19. Mm -hmm. We do have a adult age group under 19. So um, from 13 to 19 is this young adult stage. They are adults, but they're young adults. Mm -hmm. And um, they're kind of in their mentorship and their training phases, mm -hmm. getting ready to go into their service. All right. These are the generations of Aaron and Moshe, Musa, Moses, who were genialized in the day that Yah spake with Moshe on the mountain of Sinai. And these are the names of the Beni Aharon, okay, the priest, the disciples of Moses, the rabbi of Israel. Mm -hmm. Rabbi. <laughs> okay? Not rabbi. I don't know who that is. I have no idea. The rabbi. Like me. The rabbi. This is passed on. This is a it's a time honored tradition. Mm -hmm. It is earned and you pay a hefty price. Mm -hmm. Not money, but it's going to cost you. And they were called by his name in the day that they were anointed to minister in their oblations. But the Dab and the bee who died by the flame and fire at the time of their offering, the strange fire from their own tents. So now I'm going to deal with this issue right here. They had strange fire from their own tent. Mm. <laughs> so we know, we know, okay, mm -hmm. we know they didn't carry any wood from the tent to the Tabernacle. Tab tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And we also know that they didn't light the fire in the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And the wood that was already in the tabernacle was already set up to be pretty much good. Right. There's the wood that's outside that's for cooking anything you want, but the wood inside where you made the sacrifice was good wood. Now, I know they did take some old dry wood. You're not supposed to use dry wood, first of all. But what is this strange fire they made in their house that they appeared drunken mm -hmm. at the tabernacle? Mm -hmm. So what fire... <laughs> they pretty much was doing their own thing. They was getting high. They're getting high. So you say, are you saying it's illegal for us to get high? No. It's not illegal. It is illegal for you to get high and come to the tabernacle. Mm. That is illegal. Mm. Okay, you can't come in and do the most high service if you have the most high service to do. You cannot do that high. Mm, you have to be clear mind. You pure. can't. Yeah, you can't be high serving. Sorry, it doesn't work. Mm. Okay. After you finished, mm -hmm. you can go home and do your thing. Enjoy yourself. 
Mm-hmm. Now this goes for the alcohol as well. You, you know, we've. I think I've read it in Leviticus. You can drink. You bring the priest the wine, but he doesn't drink it here at, while he's in service. Mm-hmm. He drinks it at home. He mm-hmm. takes it home with him. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they died from strange fire from their own tents, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar ministered before Aharon, their father. And Yahya spake with Moshe, saying, Bring near the tribe of Levi. Okay? Mm-hmm. And appoint them before Aaron, the priest, to minister with him. Okay? Mm-hmm. So now you see it's Aaron, his two sons, but they don't do everything. The whole tribe, tribe. of Levi mm-hmm. is with him. Yes. And let them d- divide into 20 and four parties. Mm. So now there is the whole tribe of Levi mm-hmm. and they are divided into 24 Parties. Parties. 24 mm-hmm. parties. So there's 24 different sects mm-hmm. within the Levite camp. And they shall keep his charge. What to keep Aaron's charge is to keep whatever instruction he is to give them. Correct. Right? And the charge of all the congregation before the tabernacle of ordinance to perform the work of the tabernacle. Mm-hmm. So Aaron's telling them, this is what they have to do. This is how it's done. This is what we do. Mm-hmm. And since they are in between, mm-hmm. they have the charge of the people to do the services, the sacrifices, and the atoning for the people mm-hmm. before the tabernacle. They are an extension of it, of its service. Right. So everybody don't have to go to the physical front of the building mm-hmm. to do service nearest Levite. That is all. Yes. It's as far as I have to go is from here to there. Right. And, and we need to understand when it says bring the tribe of Levi is talking about the men. Mm-hmm. They're talking ladies. They're talking to the men. Now they do have some yeah. women's provisions, Visions. some yeah. free offerings and some stuff, but it all, again, everything is generated from us by us. Yes. So all the work of the field predominantly mm. is done. By the men. Now, yeah. there, there's some women. Don't get me wrong. Right, right. right. There's women working in the field, but yes. again, they still not alone, unprotected, Protected. unwatched over. Yes. Like, you know, this independent woman thing, we don't have. And I am equal. No, we don't yeah. have it. We don't have that. No. Everybody has a place. That's right. And we are dependent upon each Brother. other. Hmm. Okay. And they shall have charge over all the vessels of the tabernacle of ordinance. So they have the charge over all. They are in charge over all the vessels. Yes. And the charge of the sons of Israel hmm. to do the service of the tabernacles. Hmm. So they, the sons of Israel, yeah. we don't touch nothing when it right. comes to this service. Right. I, I, I bring, when I come to the temple, I bring the sacrifice. Mm-hmm. And some sides. Right. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm not cooking. Mm-hmm. I got sides. I got the potato salad. <laughs> I got the macaroni salad. Mm-hmm. I got the salad salad. Mm-hmm. Okay? Right. I got some bread, maybe. Mm-hmm. All the meat. The Levites cooking it. Mm-hmm. They making it. Yes. When I go there to pray and eat with them, I eat from what they I have given them to prepare for me. Mm. We'll get right. to that, but that's what all of the offering is for, so that when you go with them, 
Mm-hmm. You also have a portion. So mm-hmm. there is two tenths and really three. So there is the one tenth, which is the Levites, and that is just his. Mm-hmm. There is the second tenth. The second tenth is for yourself when you and your family come to eat with the Levites mm. in the times that you come. Yes. And the third tenth is given to the Levites, but it's for the widows and the orphans. Mm. So for the single women, mm. their husband died. They don't want to go back to their father's house. This is a single woman. She's a widow. She's in the care of the Levites. For the divorced woman, she also don't want to go back to her father's house. She remained in the care of the Levites mm-hmm. until they choose a husband. Okay? Mm-hmm. The widows and the orphans, orphans, a fatherless child. This is, goes into this house mm-hmm. until we can sort out the situation. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's how it's dealt with. We'll get to it in depth as we get deeper. Yes. All right. And I have given the Levites unto Aaron and his sons. So that's why they all call the sons of Aaron. Because mm-hmm. he gave all of them to Aaron. Mm-hmm. See right here, Numbers chapter 3 and 9. I don't care what nobody believes. I'm going to tell you what it is. And this is how it remains. And if you have any opinion as to how it could be different, just <clears throat> Keep it to yourself and stay where you are because it ain't going to be that way when you get here. Mm -hmm. A gift are they given and delivered to him from among the sons of Israel. Mm -hmm. So this is all the Levites are given to Aaron. So the whole time when I was saying Moses says to Aaron and his sons, he's talking to all the Levites. There's the proof. Yes, yes. Yes. There's the proof. So Aaron is now the head as if he is the father mm-hmm. of the Levite tribe. Mm-hmm. We know that Levi is the father, but the Most High is now putting them in order. order. Mm-hmm. And Aaron is the head and he is dividing them into 24 parts separate from the sons of Israel. Israel. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Does this mean they're not subject to the law? No, they are more subject. They even more restricted than what they have a high restriction. They have a higher restriction. Mm. They can only do certain things, so they don't have land ownership that their attention be divided. Mm-hmm. Are they subject to the king? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> The king can't go in there and perform the service. Mm -mm. But that don't mean that they can override his authority in any way, shape, or form. No. They just have their service. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a special branch. They have their service. It's appointed by the Most High. King can't touch it. Mm -hmm. If they're not acting right, well, they're the closest to the Most High. The Most High know how to kill. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. And number thou, Aaron and his sons, that they may keep their priesthood, and the stranger who cometh near them shall be slain by the flame from before Yaya. Mm. So, again, strangers that are not from the children of Israel mm. are not allowed to come near and approach the Levites. Mm-hmm. See, the Levite priest is not the priest for the whole world. Right. He has the service to the Most High to deal with. He's got his jobs among the children of Israel to deal with. He doesn't deal with anybody else. He has to deal with mm-hmm. the, the 12 tribes. That is all. Mm-hmm. The, the children of Israel deal with the nations. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it again. Yes. The Levite is dealing with the children of Israel. He's not de- The Levite is not dealing with the nations. Mm-hmm. The children of Israel are going to the Levite for their service and understanding. Yes. And the children of Israel minister to the nations. Yes. So 
the children of Israel is the priest to the nation. Mm. Every man, woman, boy, girl, child, you are the priesthood to, to the, the nations. nations. Mm. Mm. The nation doesn't come to the Levite. Mm. So this is part of the teaching. We need these details to have stuff in order. Yes. I deal with the priest. Correct. When I go to deal with the nation, the priest don't have no dealings with the nation. Hmm. The priest dealing with me. Mm. You understand that? I need this to be so clear. Hmm. If I'm dealing with other nations, I'm dealing with other nations. Mm. The priest is not dealing with the other nations. The priest deals with me. Mm -hmm. He have no business. He have no business. None. Not at all. Mm -hmm. But the other nations are supposed to bring the tithe in. Ah, okay. So the other nations are supposed to bring in the tithe. Who do you think they're bringing it to? To the king. They're bringing it into the children of Israel. Israel. And then the children of Israel is bringing the it. The children of Israel them. collecting it. Right. Mm -hmm. right? You're going to collect it. And then you're going to bring in a tithe from that to the priest. Mm -hmm. You bring in a tenth of the tenth. Mm -hmm. So you say, well, how does that work? Well, you have to understand there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. If you are a good student of the law. And you prosper people when they go back to their lands. The tenth, their type that they prosper, when they come in and bring it back, they're bringing it back to you. They know you. They're not coming it back to bring it to the priesthood. Right. They're coming it back to bring it to you. Mm -hmm. So this helps you mm -hmm. to prosper. This is your incentive. To make sure that this person has everything to go back to their country and prosper because mm -hmm. they have to render a tenth back to you. Mm -hmm. This tenth that comes back to you, a tenth that goes to the priest. Mm -hmm. So that that's why it's so important that as we as the children of Israel, our moral character is intact. And right. in place. And this also teaches why the Most High is bringing famine to the nations that don't bring their tithe back. Mm. So that national organization, right, them, their people, everything that was set up because of what we provided them through the hardship. Mm. Right. You can't go over there and police them. No. All right. Whether you pay or you don't pay, just remember, you swore you made this between me and God. If you go back to your country and you get amnesia and you forget. This is going to happen. This is what will happen. That's why it's so imperative that we ourselves as a collective get it together. You have to get it together in order to receive the blessing that is being said or talked about. Mm. Right. So now. This is just from the serpent that come from your house. This is a small agreement. Mm -hmm. When you talk about international trade, there's a different agreement. There's a different level. Mm -hmm. So, but on the small scale, you can make some small business and set up some small person and he, he prosper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, y'all speak with Moshe saying, and I behold, mm -hmm. I have brought nigh the Levites from among the sons of Israel instead of all the firstborn who opened the womb among the sons of Israel. And the Levites shall minister before me. So before, mm -hmm. before this appointment at this time, the firstborn, like myself, I'm the firstborn to open the womb, okay? And the firstborn is was the priesthood. He held it until this appointment. Mm 
Mm. Now the Most High is making an exchange. Okay. Now he's going to tell you what he's going to do with the firstborn now that he's taken the Levites and made this whole tribe to make it. Okay. Mm -hmm. For every firstborn among the sons of Israel is mine. I belong to the Most High. Always have, always will. So, from the day when I slew every firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, mm. so the Most High killed only the firstborn mm. Mm. in the land of Mitzrayim. So the Most High gets, there's two portions appointed to the Most High, the firstborn Boy. and the tenth. tenth. Mm. So now in Egypt, the Most High only killed his portion. He killed one of his appointed portions. Killed him, right? Now we are coming into this, and I'm telling you right now, you guys may not like what I'm about to tell you, but the Most High is going to only preserve of the whole multitude of the world only his portion. You say, what's that? The tenth. He's only going to preserve mm. a tenth mm. of the whole world population. Only a tenth. Only a tenth. Mm. Oh, you don't you don't believe me. Well, you take your time and you read Amos. Now, I know the Amos you read is jacked up. But if you get the Amos from my website, we have the authentic manuscripts of Amos and you can understand what we're talking about. Okay? So I have sanctified before me every firstborn in Israel from man to animal. They are mine. I am Yah. Okay? So whether man or beast, the firstborn of everything belongs to the Most High. Nobody cares how you feel, how much you love him. It belongs to him. And Yahya spake with Moshe in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the sons of Levi according to the house of their fathers and their families, every man from a month old mm. and upward shalt thou number them. Mm. Boy, that's different than when he did with with the sons of Israel, because it was twenty and up. And up now here he's going from a month old with Levi. Right. Yeah. So now you have to understand. So it's a month old. So a Levite is a born a Levite, Levite. and he's gonna be a Levite. All his life. <laughs> He don't know nothing else, and there's nowhere for him to go. There's no other options. Whatever the craft is that he, his father is, is where he's going. It's the strictest service. Mm. From a month up, Most High didn't give no limit. If you were live and a Levite, you are right here. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Moses therefore numbered them according to the mouth of the word of Yahweh as he had been commanded. So Moses said, okay, uh, all you Levites line up. Mm, 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 mm. From what age, Moses? One the month, month up. Wah, 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 wah. He crying babies, he lined them up. And these were the sons of Levi by their names. Gershon, Keha, and Morari. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's only three. Only three. Oh, but wait, there's four. They have to be, because, you know, the tribes of Israel was separated into four. What's the fourth one? Did the most I mention it? Did he mention it? We'll be right back.
the sons of Nebu by their names. Right, Kahath, Gershon, Gershon, and Merari. And Merari. Hmm. The fourth house is actually Aaron's and Aaron his and two, two sons. sons. So his three. Okay? Hmm. Aaron is, at this, I told you there's always three. So there's one leader and then he have two. Mm -hmm. If you say a captain and two lieutenants, mm -hmm. right? Or a captain, uh, uh, you know, uh, a colonel and two half bird colonels, you know, mm -hmm. you, lieutenant colonels. <clears throat> but there's one to two, so there's always three. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now you understand. So now you have the high priest and then you have his two, two sons, sons, but this is separate. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is the head of the other three, which is about to be divided into 24 parts. Mm -hmm. Okay? And these are the names of Benny Gershon. So, Gershon, according to their families, Libni and Shami. Mm -hmm. Libni and Shami. That's it. Right. So, Gershon have himself had two, two sons. sons. And then they have two family Libni. lines. Libni and Shami. Libni. Okay? Mm -hmm. Benny Kahath and their family. Now, he has Amram, Jitzar, Hebron, and my man, <laughs> our uncle, <laughs> Utsiel. And Amram was Moses, Musa and Aaron, Haran's father. Father, right. So from Kahath, the saint, you get Amram, Jitzar, Hebron, and Utsiel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, from Beni Murari, by their families, you get Mali and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites after their house of their fathers. Mm -hmm. So now, within the Levite tribe, you have to understand, you're going to be, you're not going to walk around saying, I'm a Levite. <laughs> Which which family division you in? Yes, because they had particular tasks. Right, based you on can't their just family. Levite. What's this? Wait, okay, we we. Where do you? Where is your address? Mm -hmm. Where is your family? Mm -hmm. You Mali, you Mushi, Amram, Jitzar, Hebron, Uziel. You have to be in this. Mm -hmm. So now, again, when you reorganize the Levites, they have to reorganize back by this. By their father's house. By the father's house. You can't come back and say, we lemba. <laughs> Ooh, goodness. We Yoruba. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I'm, no, most I'm not accepting that. I'm sorry. You can, you can be mad all you want. You're going to fit in here. Mm-hmm. There will be a head of the family, and his name will be Amram. Mm -hmm. I don't care nothing about what your name is, where you came from. That's over. If you're from this, you will be Amram, and you will be in charge of the Amram family. Mm -hmm. hmm. I just want you to understand, if you're going to be the people, you're going to be it 100%. Mm -hmm. You're going to forsake it everything else and be the people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Of Gershon, the family of Libni and the family of Shimei, these are the families of Gershon. The sum of them by the number of all the males from a month old upwards was 7,500. So that's 7,500 and that's of Gershon. Mm hmm. Okay. Two families who spring from Gershon shall encamp after the tabernacle westward. So they're by Ephraim. Right. Ephraim. So Gershon and Ephraim together in the west. I'm pointing west because I'm facing north. So the west is to my left. To the west. So in front of Ephraim, 
Mm-hmm. Okay? <clears throat> For two miles before you even get to the tabernacle of ordinance is Gershom's land. He have two miles on this side. Okay. And the rob of the house of the father set over the two families shall be Elijah Fath, Elijah El El Il Jasaf Il Jasaf Bar Lail. So that's the prince over that house. Mm -hmm. Il Jasaf Bar Lail. So there is a Lail family, right? Mm -hmm. But when you ask him his tribe, he tells you, ah, oh, Gershoni. 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 Which tribe you? Gershoni. We know he's a Levite. Don't say I'm a Levite. He says, which tribe? Gershoni. Mm -hmm. it means he belongs in this address. This is his area. This is his land. This is his space. Nobody can take it. Mm -hmm. His family name, Lail. Lail. Mm -hmm. But you ask him his tribe? Oh, I'm Gershoni. Mm -hmm. And the charge of Benny Gershom shall be. So this is what they in charge of. This is their <clears throat> responsibility. Only they can touch it. Nobody else. Mm hmm. The charge of the Beni Gershom shall be in the tabernacle of ordinance shall be the tent and the covering that is over spreadeth and the hanging of the door of the tabernacle of ordinance and the curtains of the court and the hanging which is at the gate of the court by the tabernacle and the altar round about and the cords of it for all of the service thereof. That's it. Mm. <clears throat> so this is So when the curtains gotta get washed, when they gotta get replaced, when they gotta get changed, mm -hmm. when they gotta be taken down, when they gotta be put up. Only Gershoni. That's it. Do it. Mm. The tent, the overhanging. That's it. They don't touch nothing. It's unionized. Mm -hmm. If you're from America, you know what a union is. You know what I'm talking about. You know, in the union, <laughs> if you could be a, a skilled tradesman and have many skills, you know, you work on the side, you do electrical, you do plumbing, you do all of that. Right. When you come in on a union job, only the electrician right. can touch the electric. Mm -hmm. You can't cut off the circuit breaker to work on nothing. You have to call do the electrician to do it. That's how the tabernacle work is unionized. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of Kihath was the family of Amram, the family of Itzbar, the family of okay. Hebron and Uziel. These are the families of Kihath. The number 8,600, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. Mm. The four families that spring from Kehoth shall encamp by the south side of the tabernacle. The Rab shall be Elizaphan, Bar Uziel. What are we reading from? The Uziel. The Uziel. So the south side is Reuben's sign, correct? To the south is Reuben. Okay. So this is parked right in front of Reuben to the south. Two miles. Tabernacle in the middle. Right? Mm -hmm. You got two miles west. Two miles east, two miles north, two miles south. Mm -hmm. So they have two miles. Mm -hmm. This is where they camp in. Mm -hmm. Their charge. So let's see what the four families, right? So when you say, which tribe you? Oh, Utsil. Oh, I'm Ram. I'm this 
Okay, we know you address, you here in the south, and in this you have what? Bar Uthiel, yeah. son of Uthiel. And the chief of the Kihath, their charge, watch this. The Ark. <laughs> Now you understand why I'm reading from the UCL because it pertains to the Ark. The Ark of what? The Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. How are you going to read? If you're going to read somebody's book about what the covenant is inside the Ark, Mm -hmm. You have to get it from the one, the one who has the who's in charge the responsibility of the ark. The ark. Right. Not just oh, but you don't want to go into You it. don't want to talk to me about that. You you won't slim Jimmy <laughs> and his 16 landing. Mm -hmm. I read in Wikipedia. Shut up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the ark. The table, the candelabrum, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary wherewith they minister, and the veil and that which pertains to its service. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so uh, Gershani, Amarani, none of them can come and even do that work. It's specifically for Kahath, Uziel, and them to be responsible of that. Mm. So nobody could touch none of this. Now they inside. Mm -hmm. So first of all, right, you got Kihath, mm -hmm. right, and his family, they're keeping the charge of the sanctuary. Mm. Mm. Right? Yes. Their charge is the sanctuary. sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You got Kihah, their charge is the sanctuary. Inside of the sanctuary, their charge is the ark. This is inside. This is inside. Mm -hmm. Okay? You got, you got Benny Gershon, and their charge is with the curtains and everything that's over it. <sighs> So they this is they have the, the overhangings. Okay, yes, this right. one have the ark, the candelabrum, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary where which they minister, and the veil and that which pertaineth to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Yes. You see? So we see that Jonathan Ben Uziel, who we read from, is from this, this family, family only. This one. Not no King James. No, this one. This one. Here. Mm hmm. So a lot of you trying to figure out well, where you get Jonathan or Jonathan from. Jonathan was David's uncle. Well, David no, was, no, 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 what, was no, from Yehuda. No, no, no. Jonathan was David's uncle. Mm -hmm. And you say, uncle on what side? It's because the family line that that Ephrata comes from is from Caleb and Miriam. So when Caleb's other family side the Ephrathah side became a tribe, and we know known as Ephrathi. Mm -hmm. So when you ask me what tribe, I tell you Ephrathi. Mm -hmm. It's the smallest tribe in all of Judah. Yeah. Okay? I'm Ephrathi. And I've learned that I am as well. Okay? <laughs> so when you come in and you're dealing with what has to be done, it's like this. This has to be done. You have to go into your family address. 
Mm-hmm. Okay? Your family address. I'm Ephrathi, which is in Judah. Yeah, it's part of Judah. I know I'm part of the Judah tribe, the Judah family, the Judah area, right? But I'm Ephrathi. This is my address. Mm-hmm. Okay? So now you have Uziel. Then you go on to the next part, and we're going to the Amakol set over the chiefs of the Levites. So now all of these Levites have chiefs. Mm-hmm. The head of the chief of the Levites is the Amakol or the head counselor. Mm-hmm. Okay? Amakol is counselor. This is the leader, the overseer, the organizer. Mm-hmm. Okay, the head minister over this department. Mm-hmm. This shall be Eleazar bar Aharon the priest. <laughs> so Eleazar is the Amakol. Mm-hmm. I thought Aaron the high priest. There is order in everything. One, this is number two. This is number three. Mm-hmm. Each one have an assignment. Mm-hmm. One man cannot oversee everything by himself. Mm-hmm. Okay? The chief of the Levites, Arizon. And Eleazar, who inquireth by the Uriah and the Tumaya, and under his hand shall they be appointed who keep the charge of the sanctuary. Mm-hmm. So Eleazar, Aaron is the high priest. Yes. Mm-hmm. Aaron does not. Mm-hmm. Aaron does not, not mm-hmm. select who will be servicing in the sanctuary. Eleazar does. Of Merari. So out of all the tribes, Eleazar is picking the most lawful. Mm -hmm. Right? They have to be without blemish. He's inspecting. Mm -hmm. So you're choosing from among yourself. He's not picking them because they're cool. Mm -hmm. He don't need cool. This is serious. So when he's picking, because based on what we read, he is picking... From the Kohath, because they're the ones who keep the charge of the uh, sanctuary. Because it gets okay. this it gets even further. Okay. Because once you get to the charge of who has what to deal with in mm. handling the right. sanctuary, that's one thing. Okay. The service inside, because mm-hmm. once the sanctuary is put up, there is a large maintenance protocol because oh. there's always cleaning, there's always cooking, there's rotations about who's serving at what time, when. There is an order. So when it says here, keep the charge, it's pretty much the servicing. There's a servicing of who's going to be servicing after the sanctuary is put up. Uh, okay. All of them can help with the putting up and the breaking down and the carrying. Transport. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yes. We're here for this. After it is put up and you must service inside, now this is a different ball game, ball game. And we need to know he's going to pick who does what, who okay. does what inside according to him. Because he's the one by Uriah and Thamiah. So he can tell who's being deceptive who's doing it for clout mm-hmm. and who's serious so when the Uriah and the Thamiah is what we know as the Urim and the Thummim okay yeah that, that if you were you Slim Jimmy, Jimmy we, yeah. don't, we don't have and that, that. <laughs> it's not we don't have that not, don't, don't, don't come here with the Urim and the Thurim no no the Thummim no. no the Thurimimim they know the Uriah yeah, and Tumaya. Okay? Don't worry. We're gonna give y'all the the words from Uziel so we start to get back mm-hmm. the language. Yes. Okay? Like Armakol, Uriah, Tumaya. We'll we'll get slowly, slowly. 
Mm-hmm. Of Merari, the families, Mafli and Mushi, their number 6,200. The Rab, the Rabbi of, of this family of Merari is Zeru'il Bar Abu Kail. Mm-hmm. They shall encamp by the tabernacle to the north. So that's Dan. Mm. Dan. Dan. Morari. And that that is delivered to their charge shall be the boards of the tabernacle, its pillar, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, and all that pertains to the service thereof. The pillars of the court also round about their sockets, pins, and cords. Mm. But they who encamp, okay, before I get into the next encampment. Mm. So when you're dealing with Marari, this is the building. Yes, the building. Itself. So the Most High said, these got the coverings of the building. This is outside. Everything that covers outside. The next group he dealt with. Mm-hmm. These have all this stuff mm-hmm. inside the building. Mm-hmm. And the organization of who's going to work inside the building of the bringing in and the taking out. And then we'll get into the carrying and who does what and the service thereof inside. Mm-hmm. This Marari, what they got? The building. So what we've seen prior is with the Kahath. And because Eleazar and Haran and all of them are part of the Kahath Mm -hmm. family. And then this here with the building itself is because this is what's appointed to the Marari. Right. And so what happens is you'll find that the high priesthood, they have the inspection job. Mm. They have the list. They are checking every fine detail. They are accounting things, verifying the counts. So when we move, they have, you have what? Three. Yes. The three, right? Aaron, Eleazar, and Ithamar, each one will be assigned to verify the tribes and come back Mm -hmm. to make sure everything is verified, that we have everything. And then you have a rotation. There's a secondary check. Mm. Why? Because if you miss something. Right. The next one. The next one will catch it. Mm -hmm. There's a secondary check. We have to make sure we have everything and everything in its place. Mm -hmm. It's it's checked, it's verified. Then we are set and we can move. Mm -hmm. But they have checklists. They're not touch. They can't even, the higher priest can't even touch Touch it. it. Right. But he's there to verify it. He's there for inspection. Mm -hmm. This is your quality control. (laughs) See, so wow. you know, you you want to talk, but you you don't know. You didn't know this. I told you this. Nobody told. Nobody let you know. Nobody showed you the inner workings like this. I know already because I haven't heard them all. Mm-hmm. And one of the biggest things that I am recognizing, recognizing and noticing, is always a support system. There's not an independent Mm-mm. system here. No, 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 no. This it's one, supported. This one have this part. And he better do it right. He has to do it right. I kill him. Mm-hmm. This one has this other part. And you need this one to do this part before you can do that part. Mm-hmm. Why? There's a special gift I put in this one for this. And he goes first here. This, this. So before they can put the coverings of the building up, they got to put the building down. Mm-hmm. Mm, my brother's keeper. I got to I got it. I do one part. My brother comes with the next part. Together we have a whole. Not I'm doing the most work. Not I'm carrying the heaviest load. Not mine is more important than yours. 
Yes. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. And you know, all this thus far, what you're sharing with us and teaching us, incorporating the culture, custom, and traditions with this law, what I'm seeing is a marriage covenant. It is. The men are married to the Most High, the Most High has. All of these countings, you're counting the Most High's wives. Yeah. We are married to him. And yeah. he wants us in our little tunics mm. and our little dresses with our little fringes. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Now, I'm covenanted to the Most High. My wife is covenanted to me. <laughs> My wives are covenanted to me. It's, it's, it's not what you think. So I'm not jealous about what the Most High gave and appointed to my brother. Mm -hmm. This is his job. Mm -hmm. And we work together. There's no jealousy among us. Mm -hmm. Because I am not stupid enough to think. I'm going to do all of this by myself. Right. So your wife or your wives is covenant to you. They don't skip you to go and be go. Be covenant straight to so, the Father. No, no, no. no there's no, no, an no, no, no. order. You can't be. You, you, the Most High, appointed the wife to the man. He appointed the woman to the man. Mm -hmm. He appointed the men men to, to himself. himself. And that's just the men of Israel. Sorry if you're not Israel. Mm -hmm. You can say what you want, do what you want. I don't care. But he appointed the men of Israel to himself. So now that we are understanding this, I want you to understand in reading this, you have just heard about it. You now have a small knowledge of it. You have not done it. Mm -hmm. You have not practically applied this yet. You haven't touched the board. You haven't touched the fabric. You haven't lined up. You haven't carried it. You haven't moved. You haven't done nothing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, but they who encamp before the tabernacle eastward shall be Moses, the king. Now, this is in front of the tabernacle to the east, in front of Judah. Judah. <laughs> Moses, the king, and Aaron and his sons. So, the king and the high priest, when encamping, encamps by Judah. By Judah to the east. This is for formations. Mm. When you build the temple, this is this is there's a difference between the encampment. Did you, you you notice that, right? Yes, sir. There is a difference between the encampment mm. and the temple. Mm. But in any case, the king lives in the tabernacle of ordinance. So when you build the temple, you can read this in Ezekiel 44, I think it starts. Yeah. And you can also read this in, in when Solomon builds the temple. temple. Yes. Right. Or when David built his temple. Yeah. Kings. Yeah. And Chronicles. The, the king's portion is attached to the temple, but it's on the west side, westward. Mm -hmm. And then he has to bring the offering up the path to the east, east. gate. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, even though he's now settled and established, he establishes himself on the west side. But whenever it's time to perform service, he still has to stand uh, to and the meet east. the high priest at the east gate. So the king and the high priest, when in camping, so when you are just getting started, when you're just getting things established, you camp to the east, mm -hmm. two miles away from Judah. Mm -hmm. So there's two miles on each side, two miles to the east, two miles to the north, two miles to the south, and two miles to the west. They have a four-mile square radius, and they're split into 24 parts. Mm -hmm. So Aaron, the high priest and his sons, and the king shall encamp 
On the east. On the east. With Judah. Right? Mm -hmm. Keeping charge of the sanctuary of Israel and the stranger who draweth near shall be slain by flaming fire from before Yaya. The son of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron numbered by the mouth of the word of Yaya, was 22,000. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the Levites. This is their sum. This is their numbering. They were 22,000. Now, I want you to understand this. So, you have the king, the high priest there together. So, the king camps with the Levites. What he is separate from the house of Judah. The rest of the house of Judah is under Nakshon. Hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The rest of the house of Judah is under Nakshon. Hmm. Only the king and his immediate family, hmm. his immediate family, his wives, his is mm -hmm. and those who the children of Israel give him for handmaids. This is another thing that they don't know. Right. Right. So part of your vows, if you want your vow, you want your son in the house of the king working with the king. This is what that Levite vow is also about. Mm. Right. That's how Jeroboam become king, not by blood. Right. What I want my son in the house of the king, and he will take my son and as a son. Hmm. So he gets this royal training. When he comes back to the family, he goes back. When he comes back, he is altogether a prince. Hmm. There is a wealth and a reward and a certain level of 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 honor and notoriety that comes with knowing that no he trained in the house of the king when he comes back to this land he'll be in charge of everything because he'll have that status that certification and that authenticity he comes from this specific house so that's kind of the same thing with david with saul's son mm -hmm. right because oh okay hmm hmm so you get this certain certification so that mm -hmm. happens so only now notice no strangers can approach the levites right so who does the king have for servants and handmaids mm -hmm. he's only can use his own people, people he can only use his own people that's it so your your daughters become handmaids your sons become the servants. Mm -hmm. what, what, what service they doing? Huh? Whatever they need, whatever's needed. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah, you got the military. You have the priesthood. Priesthood doing the priesthood thing. You know, mm -hmm. this is why David had his 300. This is what that, that is. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you have everybody else. You know what I noticed because you have brought this up a few times when you're saying handmade, there is different types of handmaid. It's not just a handmaid who's a concubine or no. No, there are right. different types this, this of a, handmaid. So all the women are handmaids. It's just. Right. Let's just get that straight. So all women are handmaids. All right. So when you get a daughter, if I get a daughter, this is a handmaid and I desire her to marry my son. When I bring her into the house, she will be with my daughters treated as a daughter. OK. Mm -hmm. OK. If. She is to come in and say she's just literally, this is her job. She is mm -hmm. a handmaid. Okay, so she comes in, she's a handmaid. She may come in and her job is cleaning and this, that, and the third. Right. 
she's a handmaid. I may give her to a manservant. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, this happened all the time. Like, you know, yeah. you know, this man, he served me faithfully. His father sent him here. He's very good. He's tight with everything. This, okay, marry him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you don't have to be a crazy king trying to keep all the women to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you, 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 you can't even love them properly. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. No point trying to be greedy. <laughs> it, it don't make sense. Too many women lead you astray. Mm hmm. So there's a law governing this. How many wives can the king actually have? The king can actually have 18. Teen. That is his limit. Mm -hmm. And that's virgin wives. He cannot go over 18. Anything over that, he'll go astray. Now, what happens? Well, what is the concubine? Guess what? Here's the truth. Okay? Every woman that chooses to keep the law with me that has known a man previously, widowed, you know, Divorced, this is concubine. She has chosen to live with me and keep the law with me. This concubine. <laughs> you know something going to be mad because <laughs> they don't want to accept that. <laughs> this concubine. Mm -hmm. Also, if, if, if I'm given a daughter, I take a daughter to marry. And she have the 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 men have two wives. You you have to get this understanding. And say one wife is a daughter of Israel. She is by blood. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second wife, the second woman, the second wife, she also have a daughter, but she's mixed. So she will go out with the sister to keep the sister. They stay together. This one don't come out by herself. She comes out with her sister. And then when I marry the sister, when the sister ceases to have children, then this one becomes my wife. wife. This the first she comes out as her her handmaid, her nurse to help her through all the times of uncleanness, giving birth, caring for the children. They are together. The moment this, she stops bearing children, then this one begins to become my wife and bear children. Mm -hmm. This is the law from Bilha and Zillah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They were mixed. Bilha and Zilpah were mixed. These two mixed, but you get one daughter, this princess, this handmaid, but once they marry in, now princess. They all treat it like wives. Mm -hmm. And they support and help each other. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. Yes. You're going to be mad, and sure I know is. it. Sure is. <laughs> all right. Um, 40. Do -do -do. And Yah said unto Moshe, Number all the firstborn males among the sons of Israel from a month old. Now mm. notice the males, firstborn males and the Levites, the same. same. From a month old upwards and take the number of their names and bring near the Levites before me. I am Yah. Instead of all the firstborn among the sons of Israel, and all the cattle of the Levites, instead of all the firstling of the cattle of the children of Israel. Mm. Okay? Moshe numbered as Yah commanded him. So now take them and number them. I'm taking the Levites instead of all of this other stuff. This is what I want. I want them in this service, and they receive this. All the firstborn sons of Israel. The number, the sum of their number was 22,273. Wow. Okay. Mm. And Yah spoke with Moshe saying, bring near the Levites, 
instead of every firstborn among Israel and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle that the Levites may minister before me, I am Yah, and for the redemption of the 273 of the firstborn of the Bani Israel, who are more than the number of the Levites, mm -hmm. thou shalt take of each five shekels by pole, in the sanctuary of the sanctuary, thou shalt take 20 mining to the shekel. Mm -hmm. Okay. The mining was back here. Right. 20, the mining is a measure of weight. Eight. It's mm -hmm. 30 carob seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, three carob seeds is one mining. So mm -hmm. 20 is 60. Thou shalt give the shekel unto Aaron and to his sons as the redemption of them who are more than they. And Moshe took the redemption money of them who were above those who were released by the Levites, 1,365 shekels. And Moshe gave the redemption silver to Aaron and to his sons according to the mouth of the word of Yah, as Moshe commanded. Mm. Okay? So was this like a changing of the cards? Yes. Okay. So instead of me doing the tabernacle service, I give five shekels of silver mm -hmm. to the Levites. Mm. Okay? Now, you say, what was the five shekels for? Right? So, if you notice, there's 20-something thousand. They only got, like, a few thousand shekels. Mm -hmm. Right? And that was because it was only to split the difference. Mm. Since there was a reduction in number, right, the Levites were compensated because they have to do now more work, work. having less men. Mm. Ah, you didn't see that either. Mm. There was twenty. There was more firstborns than it was Levites. So when when Moses made the tabernacle and made all the stuff and built all the stuff, all the firstborns is working, and there was more of them, and they made a whole lot of stuff. Then the Most High swapped them out and put the Levites in, mm -hmm. and they had less men. Mm -hmm. And Moses is like, well, just to make the difference, because it wasn't even, mm -hmm. let the ones who are not accounted for, so you had the same amount, let the ones who are not accounted for give five shekels. <laughs> you know, I laugh because it's kind of like today you have more redemption women than you do virgin women. Right. <laughs> now, there's a miracle coming up for yes, all these redeemer cases, but yes. it's only going to happen once. Mm. All these redeemer cases. So I know y'all mad about the concubine thing. Don't Next, be mad. This is why they emphasized, you know, being a virgin and marrying. Mm -hmm. But y'all in America, you're taught that marriage is such a far off thing. And it's really not. It's not right. that far off a thing. It's actually very quick, very fast. And it should be upfront. Mm -hmm. Done in a expeditious kind of manner. Once you see that there's interest or they're ready and they. You found the right person, mm -hmm. according to whatever. But, however, in marrying is easy. Divorce is really hard. You know what I'm saying? So you have to just understand. With all these redemption cases, there will be a miracle done. When you come back this time, even having messed up, you will be granted this one atonement. 
and be like unto a virgin again. One time. It will be one time. Mm. One time. Once. Once. Okay? So after you've purged from your filth, and after you've you've moved to the land, and you gotta move to purge. So after you've moved back, you learn the customs and the traditions, right? You're living under the law and by the law. This is how you purge from your filth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then when you select a righteous man, you and your sisters, then it will be like as if you had become a virgin again, because you're not supposed to get any man after knowing two and they're alive. <laughs> right? So since you already wasted the one in sin, and you wasted that with many men, mm -hmm. not knowing the law, there is this one mercy. When you return, you will go through the process, learn the law, the covenant, the customs, and the traditions, and you get to pick. No man is allowed to approach you. You will get to choose who you wish. It's a very simple process. You go to him, you will ask him if he will take you in marriage. There's, we have the words. We have sacred words you must say. There is a law governing it. And then you will come. He will come in to the court and we will address it. He will say what needs to be said and do what needs to be done. And that will be all. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will go out. Yay, we married. Done. Right. <laughs> There's no marriage license. We don't do it's, that. It'll stuff. be recorded, but it'll it's, be recorded. It's not right. going to, to, there's no license. Right. It's recorded. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have records. It, it will be recorded, but it's not a uh, no license. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's recorded. If there is any agreement, it's because. She, the woman, have a possession. Okay? If the woman have a possession, then there is a special agreement that is done. Other than that, right. you married, we documented. If you would like uh, something in writing to put on the wall, a picture or something, we give you that. That's fine. We can make certificate or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but it's not licensed. Right, right. You, you know, there was this conversation on a thread. A woman was asking about a marriage license, you know, and they were going back and forth. Oh, you need to get the marriage license because if the marriage don't work out, then you're covered. You will get something in, you know, in which we know all of that is that Western world right. mentality. It is recorded, it is enforced, it is upheld. Right. But the paper don't, it's just a souvenir. Just yeah. want you to know the paper is a souvenir. Mm -hmm. Okay? What is declared among the community and witnesses, this is the judge against you. Mm. Right? So if you breathe on her, and there's giggling and oh, he, he, ha, ha, blah, blah. All right. Telling you now, you breathe on it. That's going to be your wife. Yeah, we, we don't do girlfriend, boyfriend mm -hmm. and dating and all. That's not part of our culture. That's, or custom. Not, that's not part of it. Mm -mm. So how do you get to know the person? <laughs> when you're married to them. We, we, there is uh, the, the intimate knowing, knowing. Yeah. is the marriage. Mm-hmm. When you want to have a betrothal, you know, you announce that you are interested. Okay. Then there's a, we have a, a courtship betrothal of seeing, you know, you're getting to know this person, but you're not going to be ever be alone. Right. You're going to be getting to know, you want to know certain things and, you know, how this person is. So there's a, 
small investigation. Because mm-hmm. if he's lawful, he's lawful. If he's not you lawful. You have a chaperone. <laughs> right. If he's lawful, he's lawful. If he's not lawful, mm-hmm. that's it. Like, you know, if you pick him, because the advice comes, you know, this man is not lawful. He's not ready yet. Mm-hmm. No, no, but he's good. All right. You got him. Bingo. Stamp. Right then. Mm-hmm. Right, lock, lock him in. Y'all, y'all together. Yeah. You'll be stuck with uh, Boo Boo the fool. Because <laughs> he can't divorce you and you can't, can't divorce him. him. Mm. You'll be stuck. And I'll be laughing. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to be fussing and fighting and angry and frustrated. Then he has to put you away. You're going to be over there waiting for him to die before you can get with somebody else. Mm-hmm. That's your choice. Yep. All right. That's our time for today. One step at a time, everybody. One step, one step. One. <laughs>